With the COVID-19 outbreak, men, women, and children, they're all facing different kinds of life disruptions right now, from job loss to school closures. The University of Phoenix decided to conduct a survey to better understand how people are coping with the pandemic right now. So we actually did the survey to understand how people are working through COVID-19, and um, we uncovered that women are actually um, handling more of the mental burdens and uh, more of the nurturing and care um, that's needed of their family members than men are. They're responding differently when it comes to how they're processing through what's happening. That's really interesting. Um, so are there any ways that we can really kind of work to stay connected with family and friends right now? Is there some healthy ways to do that? Yeah, there are a number of ways. Thankfully, technology allows us to still get that face-to-face -face interaction. So I know a lot of people are using the uh, different uh, webinar tools, the different uh, FaceTime tools um, to just get the feel for seeing somebody face-to-face. -face. Um, there are also ways to stay connected via phone and messaging, um, and then just interacting and um, understanding and talking about what's happening. I think that part is very important, is being able to process your emotions and how you're getting through things. So I know that you mentioned that this particular um, experience has kind of been a little heavier for women. Is there a way for women to create kind of a sense of normalcy in this, in this new normal that we have now? Yeah, and I think it's part of our nature as women to want to take care of people. It's part of our DNA. So I think we're handling the burden a little bit differently. Um, so one of the first things women can do um, um, to creating more of a normal environment is really a schedule. So helping communicate what to expect each day and making sure the schedule has some flexibility in it. You don't need to make it so rigid, but understanding when break time is, when school time is, when work time is can help people feel kind of um, and anticipating and controlling what might happen throughout their day. And that helps create some normalcy. Routines like meals and doing things together can also help. So let's talk about, um, I guess, stress for everyone. Because whether you're a man or a woman, you're definitely feeling stressed right now. How can you really tell the difference between just normal stress and actual depression? So I'm not a, a mental health professional, but I do know some of the standard things out there that are discussed is how you go about your day. So if you're having a hard time just getting through your day, getting out of bed, um, communicating with people, trying to isolate, those are probably signs that you wanna reach out um, to people. But the normal parts about worrying about the future and how am I going to take care of certain things, those are just healthy um, thoughts that we're processing, not knowing what's gonna happen next. And a lot of times talking that through with just friends and family, people you trust can help. And then understanding everyone's in the same position of not knowing what to expect. So it's normal to feel a little bit of that anxiety, but it's really uh, how you get through the day, how you're managing the things throughout the day that are typically things you wanna look for if you need to reach out to a professional versus um, just connecting with friends and family. And can you tell us where we can go for more information? Yeah, you can go to phoenix.edu. We actually have a special link there for all our COVID resources, our study information is there, and we also have free webinars on how to manage stress and how to get through some of these um, challenging times. Well, thank you so much. I do appreciate your time. You're welcome. Thank you. You can always find this segment and more on our website at firstcoastliving.net.